In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create a batch email in Follow Boss, but also some best practices for what to consider when sending a batch email, who you send it to, how many you send it to, what you put in the content and things of that nature. In order to send a batch email in Follow Up Boss, you need to be logged in through either the owner account or an admin account. If you are logged into an agent account, you may or may not have the ability to send a batch email if you're in a team or brokerage. And the reason for this is this is an optional feature that the owner can toggle off or on for giving access to individual users and agents to be able to batch email. So I'm about to share my screen, but if you don't see this feature available in what I'm about to show you, this means you have been not given permission to do this. And if this is important to you, you may want to reach out to the owner to see if they would consider enabling it for the company. But there are some things to consider and that there may be a good reason why they disabled it. So in, in terms of best practices for batch email, you want to segment your database as much as possible versus sending a batch email to a large amount of number of people. The reason for this is you will have a higher likelihood of an open rate, a higher deliver rate, and higher response rates. So segmenting your database into particular types of clients, for example. So if you have a listing you're advertising, then you don't want to send it to your seller leads. You just want to send it to your buyer leads. And what you can do in follow boss is you can segment even further to where if you're talking to buyers you're working with or potentially going to work with and find out what their needs are, you can use tags to tag what amenities they're looking for. You can tag someone as pool or waterfront or four bedroom or a certain amount of square footage. And so you can segment those people based on those tags so that you're getting really granular and setting the most relevant people this batch email. Some other best practices to consider with batch emailing is the content in the email. Follow Boss has designed their email creator to avoid promotion folders and spam folders and instead go into the primary inbox. They do this by making it mostly a plain text email. We've played around with this as well as some other people we've masterminded with where we've kind of tried to go get around that by either creating a graphic in Canva and copying and pasting it into Follow Boss or by um, now Follow Boss is beta testing HTML editing and formatting. But we found when we do those adjustments and try to put in graphics and pictures and HTML formatting and branding and logos and lots of links and pictures, it no longer goes to the primary inbox and it also looks automated. People automatically will discount it because it looks like a newsletter. So Follow Boss has really built not only their manual email creator, their action plan email creator, but also their batch email creator to start conversations and to go into the primary inbox. So best practice are to limit the number of pictures, colors, logos, and especially links you use. Email providers look for these various factors in determining whether or not you go to promotions or even spam. So things to consider is limit the number of links you use to three, and that includes the number of links in your email signature. So I typically recommend choosing one topic for that batch email and one link. And if you have, let's say you're trying to do a monthly newsletter and it has multiple links in it, another way to approach it is splicing it up. If you had five different topics, splice it up now into five different batch emails and spread them out over time. And now you have more content to share. You don't have to work as hard to create these those new newsletters. Maybe you've got a market update in it, a new listing you want to advertise, an event in the area, news about the uh, company, maybe a giveaway. You can make these five different topics where the giveaway you send to past clients, the new listing you send to buyer leads you're talking to, the events in the area you send to past clients in Sphere, information about your team or an update in your team you send to your past clients in Sphere. That way you're sending each topic to relevant segments of audiences in your database and you're able to repurpose that content. Kind of the same philosophy of long form videos that are posted on YouTube. You'll see a lot of creators splice those up into shorts and they repurpose those long videos for several shorts. So it's the same concept here. So now that we've talked about best practices, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and show you how to send a batch email. 
in the people screen and follow boss, what you'll do is whenever you want to send a batch email, you can segment your database first to say, I only want to see people in my past client stage because this is, uh, and see your stage because this is information for, um, for an event in the area. And so then you would, I don't have any, this is a demo account, but if you did, they would show up on this list here. But since I don't, I'm going to go ahead and X out. Then what you do is under people, all people, you can select all of them. Note, if there's more than, I believe it's 20 people on this list, then you'll want to click a button here that would say select all, select all 100, select all 1,000, whatever it is. You have the ability to batch email up to 10,000 people at a time. So go ahead and click the batch email button. So here you have a couple of options for the settings. The first is you can select to include all email addresses. So what this means is if you have a contact and follow boss that has multiple email addresses, maybe you have two different emails for me as your client, and then you have an email for my spouse who's in, a rela uh, in the relationship field and follow boss. If I check this box, it's going to include all email addresses and send to all of them. When you send a batch email in Follow Boss, Follow Boss uh, sends the emails individually. So it's not like a giant group email where everyone is seeing each other's email addresses. It looks like you just sent the email to them. So you can select who the, um, who the email is sent from. If you're logged into an admin account or owner account, you can select, okay, I only want it to go from me, or you can change it to say, I want this to go from the agent assigned the lead. And then you'll type in your messaging. If you use the first name merge field and you include all email addresses, if you put names in the relationships, it'll say both people's first names. So if it were me and my husband, it would say, hi, Elena and Chris. Alternatively, you can use an email template if you created that. A signature will be added at the very bottom of the email automatically, and it's pulled from whatever signature is in the mind settings page. If you select for all the emails to come from you, then it will pull from whatever signature you have in your settings. If you select to go from the assigned agent, it's whatever email signature is in that assigned agent's, uh, in that assigned agent's settings. So once you craft your message, you will click preview email and it lets you take a look at what the email is going to say. Then you can either select to send the email immediately, go back and edit or cancel, or schedule. I like to schedule, especially if I'm going to send like a holiday email. Maybe I want to batch create all of my holiday emails ahead of time uh, for the entire year. Then I can go ahead and schedule them in advance and then select the day and time and click schedule. If you are scheduling a batch email ahead of time, there's a few things to consider. One, if you want to go back and make an edit to that email, you have to cancel the send email and then redo the email. There's not a way once an email is scheduled to edit it and just say edit the email for the, the, the time it's scheduled now. You have to click. First, I recommend copying and pasting the email. So clicking to view it. And let me show you what this means actually. So if I, let's just say I do this, I schedule it out to go tomorrow morning. It says, okay, your email has been scheduled. So if I go to the reporting section and go to batch emails, I'll see that this is scheduled for tomorrow. But if you see here, there's no edit button. So if I needed to edit this, if I spent a lot of time crafting the email, I, won't, I don't want to lose it. So I would copy this text and then click cancel. And um, yes, cancel and redo that whole process again, where I select all, I send the batch email, and I change what the email says. So be very careful when you're crafting your email that you don't accidentally make a mistake because it's a little bit tedious uh, to edit an email. You have to cancel it and redo it. Another thing to consider, especially if you're scheduling emails far in advance, let's say it's August and I want to schedule an email for around Christmas time to send a holiday email, then if you add more people to the audience, let's say you want to include past clients and between now and December, you've added 20 new past clients. Those new past clients are not all of a sudden included in this batch email. So if you want to ensure that you include the most up-to-date list of people, then you'll want to wait till it gets closer because the audience that is scheduled to send to does not update as you add more people to follow up us. 
So that about covers the entire um, scope in a thousand foot view of batch emailing, best practices for batch emailing and um, and how to send and some things to look out for. So if you found this video helpful, please comment below. I would love to hear your thoughts and would love to hear if you have any questions you, you would love for me to walk through how to do things in Follow Boss. And a little bonus tip, if you are looking for templates for holidays, although I recommend not doing a lot of pictures and links, I do personally use uh, Canva for holiday emails as you want those to be nice and pretty. So although all of the other emails I send do not use Canva, these do. So in, um, in the description, I've included a link to our Etsy shop, which includes templates to our holiday templates that are editable in Canva.